we're going to talk about subtracting linear expressions with distributive property. Now, very similar to adding linear expressions with distributive property, all we're doing is combining things that we've learned before. So let's take a look. It's not nearly as difficult as it looks from all these words. Subtracting linear expressions, we know how to do that, and we know how to do distributive property. So let's just combine. So let's take a look. How about if I have 3 times 2x plus 5 minus 2 times 5x plus 7. So what we need to do is distribute. Now the first one's pretty easy. 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 5 is 15. You should be pretty good with that. Now we need to distribute the second one, and the second one's actually really easy. We just need to remember that we need to, to distribute that negative 2. So negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x, and that negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. So we have 6x plus 15 minus 10x minus 14, because we have negative 2 times 5x and negative 2 times 7. And now we just combine the rest of those. We have 6x minus 10x, that's negative 4x. 15 minus 14 is plus 1. And so that is all there is to subtracting linear expressions with the distributive property. So let's take a look at another example. How about 3 times 2x minus 4 minus 2 times 5x minus, let's say, 8. I don't know. Whatever number we want. I'm just making these up. So 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 4 is minus 12 or negative 12. And now we have negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. And negative 2 times negative 8 is plus 16. You can see why it's really important for you to know how to multiply negatives and positives times each other, particularly positive and negative integers. So now we have 6x and minus 10x. That's negative 4x. And negative 12 plus 16 is plus 4. Let's try another one that's got just negatives all over the place. How about negative 3 times negative 2x minus 5 minus 2 times negative 3x minus 7. Lots and lots of negatives. So let's see what goes on. Negative 3 times negative 2x is 6x. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Then next one, negative 2 times negative 3x is 6x again. And negative 2 times negative 7 is 14. And now we just combine like terms. We get 12x because 6x and 6x is 12x, 15 and 14 is 29. And that's it. Thank you.